Hey guys, as promised, I would come on live at three and I would do um, what I think is more of a necessary um, conversation to be able to have. And then also too, to just really be able to do it as a class, <laughs> really to kind of dispel some levels of um, some myths in which we have. And also too, just to give a certain level of clarity to you, to it. Hey, Wendy. Hey, Tracy. So I'm welcoming people that are, as they are starting to come on in. Hey, Robin. Hey, Mona. Uh, or am I saying it right? I see Mona or Leandra. I see Angela. Hey, how are you? I can't wait to have this very candid um, conversation. Um, hey, the reason why I decided to even put this on out here today is because um, if you know of me, my name is Tracy Matree King. So most people say, well, where did the King come from? Well, my name is Tracy Madrid King, and um, I've been an entrepreneur now for about 20 years. And then this past June, I made a really good decision for myself. It doesn't mean that I let go of <clears throat> my own individual brand. I did not. However, I embarked upon network marketing and I came into it because of what I was looking to be able to do in my future. Um, I had did a lot of research on the company and even too, it was something that I 100% believed in, which was taking care of myself, being holistic, being healthy, um, having a, a background of myself who had lost 130 pounds. It was like, man, and I remember when I tried to do it and I did it through synthetics, it was not the way to with, in which to be able to go. And it was really, really frustrating. So to find something that aligned with myself was absolutely amazing. So I wanna stop just right there. How many things have you found that work for you that are amazing? So we're gonna do a little exercise right now. And those who are on, please participate with me. So if you, I want you to drop a number one below if you've done this. Say for instance, you've gotten your hair done somewhere. Have you told somebody about where you've gotten your hair done? If you have, type a one for me below. If you've gotten your hair done somewhere and you've told somebody about it. Um, if you've gotten your nails done somewhere and somebody got to look at mine, they were really, really cute, right? I got my bling, um, I got my green, I got my black. If you've gotten your nails done somewhere and you've told somebody, type that below. Here's another one. Say for instance, um, any, any of you all using Instacart now? You use an Instacart where you're buying your groceries and they're coming directly to your house? That's game changer. Or you going to Walmart and you just going to go pick them on up? Like, have you done that and actually told somebody about it? If so, type a one. Because I know that that's game changer for me. Um, say, for instance, even now, like I have my iPad in front of me as I'm sitting here working. Have you bought any level of um, electronic device and maybe you got it on sale? Did you tell somebody <laughs> in regards to it? Type the number one. Type the number one below. So think about it right now. And I want to help you just understand when you when we find something in our lifestyle that really, really works, our natural human behavior will tell somebody. We will tell somebody if it's done right, and we will also tell somebody if it's done wrong because that's what we do. Or are you like me? Like, like, look at this. People love my goal stacks. Even today when I was out at the gym, they were like, how do you get that cute little pill keeper? If you had this pill keeper, or even two, if you want it, are you going to ask me, Tracy, where did you get this from? You're going to say yes. Right? Type that a one. If you even yourself, you would refer somebody. Just type it below. If you had something, would you refer it? Well, in network marketing, so if you even see, if you're looking down here right now, in network marketing, usually people are already using the principles of network marketing. But what is unfortunate is, is a lot of people have messed up that term. So even me, myself, I decided to go right here on Google just to even tickle my fancy and see what does Google say network marketing is. It says network marketing as a noun, another term for pyramid selling. Network marketing is an industry that has produced millionaires, but very rarely do people get rich in this business. And then I stopped and I was like, well, wow. So what is such a negative way to be able to explain something? Because if it's produced millions, how come behind it and say, um, but really people are successful. 
It's the same thing of actually thinking about the lottery. We all know it's like one in such and such million of a chance. But what do you do when it's a hundred million? Do you sit back and say, you know what? That's a hundred million. I ain't going to do that. Or do you still see the line wrapped around and then that one lucky person actually comes on out and they actually make that a hundred million dollars that changes their life? Well, we, the people that do that dream, and network marketing, it's actually easier than the dang gone lottery. But the principles of it usually get messed up. So I want to help you understand. So what I'm going to do right now is break down the difference between an entrepreneur and an employee. So that's usually where I find the mistake happens. And again, if you're just tuning in and you're like, well, how would she know this? Well, me, myself, being a 20-year entrepreneur, a background in sales and marketing and psych, um, having a very successful seven-figure brand, I want to help you understand some things. So let's break this down. An employee trades time for money. So say, for instance, you're paid $10 an hour. When you go to work during that time frame, you work, say for instance, we're going to make it really easy, 10 to 2. So we got four hours. Well, you know at the end of that time frame, you're going to make $40. So you can count on that. You're like, okay, I know when I go to work at that time frame, I'm going to make $40. Now, let's all be honest. How many of you all have worked in the job? You work from 10 to 2, but you're doing other things throughout that time frame. If so, post the two. Let's just be honest. You're doing other things throughout the time frame. You could be on your phone. You could be texting. You're doing other things within that time frame. But you know at the end of that time, and type that number two for me. You know at the end of that time, you still know this is what you're going to get paid. Right? I'm starting to see some people with some truth. Because I've had a job before. I know good and well they asked me to do something and I didn't during that time frame. Okay? So I'm just being honest. Now, when it comes to being an actual entrepreneur, here is where people get it twisted. You can sit somewhere between 10 to 2 and not have any type of directive. So say, for instance, you're saying, say, for instance, your company says you need to meet people, but you meet people and you don't hit the objective, which is actually maybe, say, for instance, it's to sell a piece of clothing. If you don't hit that, that same 10 to 2 as an entrepreneur may be $0. And it's because it's a lot more measurables that go into play as an entrepreneur. You actually got to get that thing to go. You got to get it to move. So as being an employee, you're trading your time for money. As being that entrepreneur, your production, you may have to overproduce or push to be able to sometimes get that dollar that's really a little bit different in the way that you work well people will say well i want that secure money over here as being an uh, as being an employee well let's talk about that getting this over here means that entrepreneur is doing all of the mass work that's needed to be able to pay that person that forty dollars so they're responsible for the sales the marketing the overhead, the accounting, the payroll, they take on all of those components then to be able to say, okay, this is how much the business is making in. This is how much I can expel out to be able to pay. Now, where does the risk lie? The main risk relies with that entrepreneur, that CEO, because it had so many different people to be able to pay, right? Now, let's flip that on over into an entrepreneur standpoint. Well, now when the entrepreneur becomes an entrepreneur, they're responsible for, and this is in your regular traditional business, they're responsible for now the sales, the marketing, the advertising, all the overhead. And then after all the overhead is done, whatever is left is usually the stipend or the pay for the entrepreneur. Now, what makes people say, okay, so why wouldn't you just want to go on out and actually work for somebody else? Well, as an entrepreneur, you may put in more time. And I'll tell you this, when people say, I want to work less, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. That's not, that's not the case. You're going to work more for a higher, you are over time. The more you put in that additional work, your kickback is definitely going to be higher, but it requires more work. 
Well, what I found is as I've worked with people over time and even too as being a business coach is that gets misconstrued. It's like, okay, well, being an entrepreneur, I got to do, I know I got to do the sales, this marketing, the things over here, but I'm probably um, going to only put in an hour, maybe only put in two hours. I still want the same thing that I had over here, which is that security, but I want to make that work over here. Well, it's just not how it goes. It's a lot more putting out of hours to be able to get back money, but your return on your investment is always greater. It's always going to be greater. So what I find is, is when people come into network marketing, it's usually that's where the crossroads starts to occur. Is they're used to working in your employee um, and your employee structure and in, and in an entrepreneur structure is totally different. So let me ask you this. How many of you have either yourself went into network marketing or you know someone in network marketing? Type the number three for me down below. If you know someone in network marketing or you're in network marketing yourself. The reason why I say that is, is usually, do you know, most people who are network marketing, when they come into it, they're working other jobs. They're usually doing something else. And so I remember when I was building my business um, and my, my business coach is Tony Robbins. And I remember in one of his seminars, before I was able to sit in front of him, one of his seminars said, in order to get yourself to this entrepreneur stature, like say, for instance, you work eight hours a day. He, then people are like, well, I'm so tired. And when I go home, I'm trying to figure out how I can build that thing on the side. And he was saying, man, what you need is, is you need your calendar and you need to know you may work eight hours here and you may have to come home, have dinner and then work another eight hours. You may have to work an additional four to six. You have to put in that additional time to grow that thing over here because it still has its ups and downs in which it has to go through. And I remember when I heard that, I was like, oh, okay, I could do that. I could build my thing on the side. I can go and I can actually do that. And then it became real difficult to be able to do. So I then tried, I tried to cheat the entrepreneur life. I tried it to um, maybe put in one or two hours or even two. Y'all working at home could be having levels of challenges because then you do, you start cleaning, you start doing something else. When if you were at your regular entrepreneur job, that would be that full eight hours in work. But now being home or in another environment, it became difficult to structure that time. So I tried to cheat it. And as I started to cheat it, I realized I was starting to roll back an in income. And then I remember at that time really looking at my family. I'm a mom of three and I'm also a wife. And I remember going from my regular job where I was making a steady paycheck down to looking at some weeks. And this is true. I was a hairstylist. Some weeks I would make two hundred dollars, three hundred, four. And it's like, OK, how does how how could this be to work like that in this type of environment? Maybe. And then I remember at that time thinking maybe I need to go get me a regular job. Like maybe that's what I should be doing. And then it was shown to me, no, it's not necessarily that you need another job. You have to understand that entrepreneur lifestyle that requires you still to work consistently in those eight hour periods and have your own measurables. There's no boss for you. Like when you go to work, they say they'll come on in. How many of you type four down for me before below. you get into work and they say you need to um, I need you to talk to these people. I need you to do this. This must be done by here. Sound like your job. Like they're telling you exactly what to do. And that's when I had to realize, wow, in my own setting, there's nobody giving me those directives. I have to set those up for myself. So it became very interesting for me to do. So as I built my brand and now I'm in here in network marketing, um, network marketing is a bit easier for me, I realize, than it is for most. Um, and it's really because it has nothing to do with me being a business professional previous before. It was me going through that transition between employee to entrepreneur and understanding I had to manage my day. I had to make sure that I had this amount of things in to be able to get the output that I needed. So now the real truth, the ugly truth of why a lot of times people come into network marketing and it doesn't work. I personally have found that to be that thing right there. See, network marketing really is what you've been doing already. Now, here's one that really, really gets people. Have you ever been in work 
<clears throat> have you ever been to work, right? And as you're at work, have you ever realized um, during that time that you're actually, um, hey, Sheena, I see your name. That's through my thought process when I just saw you. Hey, babe. Um, don't worry about it. We'll schedule another time frame. Um, I'll say this. Have you ever thought when you switch on over, when I, when I switched on over into being into that land and actually start managing myself, I'm trying to tell you, that's how everything clicked. Well, think about this. Have you worked in a job where you are training somebody else? Have you worked in a job right now where you're training someone else? If you have, type me a number five. If you've worked in a job where you trained someone else, maybe it was for what you were doing. Maybe you changed them on the front desk register. Um, you trained them to do the exact same job. You trained them in management. Have you worked something where you realized you were training someone else? Five. There you go. We normally have done it. I know me myself. I worked in automotive and I worked in finance before I actually came into beauty. What I found was, oh, wow, you work for someone else, you do that training. And as you do that training, you get your one salary. So say, for instance, you're making $50,000 in the year. Okay? If you make $50,000 for that year. If you train 10 people at $50,000 a year, you make $50,000 a year. That is your job. That is your expectation. That is what you take home. That is how that works. In network marketing, when you bring people in and you train them in network marketing, when you bring them in and train them, and this is when you have a real legitimate company. I'm not even going to talk about mines. I'm teaching you about network marketing. In network marketing, in the correct structure, as you train people and they move forward, because usually you don't make money by bringing anybody in. So when I tell people, oh, I'm coming into your, they're coming into my company. I don't make any money when you come in here. All the thing that I do is I give you an opportunity. But when you come in and I train you and the more successful you are, I then make a percentage of that, not from you, but from the company. And then as you grow and I teach you, it's duplicatable success. And I teach you how to do another thing. Then guess what? I get another percentage from the company. See, in a regular entrepreneur employee job, that is not the structure. That's not it. So when people say things are pyramids or schemes, I always tell you, let's think about what a pyramid is. So say for instance, you're working and you're at the top and this person is the CEO and you're all down here just getting what is given to you. I want your brain to really sit back and think. Well, I've trained five different people as they come on in here and sometimes people have actually trained their own boss. And I didn't get anything additional from that. That is usually the person that does phenomenal in network marketing because when they come in, all of their efforts are compensated for. They're all compensated for. And when that's compensated for, that can, that takes away the control of, you know how people say, um, um, my mom, or they have an older person and they say that person's in a fixed income. And I always go, sweetheart, it's what you don't know. Hey, Danny, it's what you don't know. If you have a salary, you're on the same fixed income as your mom, as the person who's getting something from the government. It's what you've been taught in your brain. When you're in a company like a network marketing company, there is no cap on what you're able to do. The more you bring in somebody and you teach them properly and you show them how to do what you're doing in a nice, clean system that allows them to duplicate your success because it's already been done and it's been done well, you constantly make money over and over and over again. Like even now, I'm looking on up, down in my downline and there's people, I have over 200 and some people in my organization. There's people that have worked and worked and worked today that I've made a percentage from the company and now here I am working and now, ooh, I even see some of my newbies on here. Now I have one girl right now. Hey girl, I'm not gonna say your name because we don't know if you want anybody to know yet. I just signed her to my team and I'm about to go to her home and I'm about to show her how to create her side income from her home, how it is she can do exactly what I'm doing. And then I get to sit back and watch her be successful and then her go off and go make other people successful and more successful and more. 
Have you ever taken the time to sit back and drive and dream? Like, I remember when I would do that. Like, people would be in positions that I wanted to be in. And I was never the type of person that would say, oh, it's just because she got this or whatever. I believe in alignment. So as that woman or that man was growing and they were doing something amazing, I would sit around and try to figure out. My question became, well, what do you do? Okay, can I do that too? And sometimes I would find, like say for instance, they were a physician. Well, I had to go to school to be a physician. I don't want to do that. I had to go on out and be a lawyer. Well, I don't want to do that. And then I started realizing a lot of the people that were around me that were in the millionaire stature were in network marketing. And I was like, wow. And everybody postured to me and said, Tracy, the behaviors in which you have, how you love to help people, how you love to work with others. Is that you? Like, think about it. If you're in a management position or you're out and you're helping other people, it was like, man, you could really blow the roof off of that thing just because that's your innate ability. And that's what you regularly do. And as I looked into it last year, I was able to move and move and move. So me, myself, I'll share with you. um, I chose a company that was in health and wellness because y'all didn't watch me for I don't know how long. You've watched me lose weight. You've watched me say, as an entrepreneur, your health is the most thing that you need before anything. It's your health. Your health is your wealth. If you you make a million dollars and you're not healthy, How long do you think you're going to be here to see it? That part right there was killing me. Then as I started to get older, I started to realize my physical, our services, and I'm 40 years old, our services that we're able to do, can I do them at the same fast rate? Do I want to bring additional people um, in? I guess to make more, I got to physically do more. That started to be a little bit different. And then I noticed it started to pick up some. So for me, when I looked on out last year, I went to an amazing seminar with my um, my coach, Tony Robbins, and it was even shared with me at that time. The way that you function is really network marketing. And I was like, man, I keep hearing that as I talk to people. I think I really need to take some time to really understand it. And so last year when I dove in, I was like, I get what it is when choosing a network marketing company. You want to choose something that really is your core value. If you walk into something saying, oh, it's money there, I'm going to make it, you won't. Let me tell you that, you won't. What I just share with you all down your wall is most of us do network marketing all day. And I see somebody in here named Danny. Danny, you network market your tail off all day. Because if you love something and you like it, what are we going to do? We talked about Instacart. If I loved Instacart, I'm going to tell you about Instacart because I love Instacart and it's changing my life. Well, I found the company that I was passionate about, which was health and wellness. I would tell you how to do a, y'all didn't watch me for years. I would tell you how to, um, you know, pick up this video, what food you were supposed to have. So what I did was is chose something in that field that I had my heart in, that I absolutely loved. And so once I found that, it became extremely easy to do. Oh, Tracy, how did you lose this? This is what I did. How do you deal with stress as an entrepreneur? This right here. How about when you want to go on out? Me and my husband are going out tonight and we're having, this is my real thing. Me and my husband are going out tonight and we're having cocktails and I'm going to have some pizza tonight. This thing right here is going to take out 70% of the carb. Well, guess what? I want to burn fat and I got one workout in today. I don't have the time to do in two and three. Here's my natural fat burner right here. Hey, if you want to lose weight, you need to be able to properly digest. You can't just determine that I'm going to burn the, um, the additional um, uh, cellulites, uh, cellulose off my body. You need to be able to properly digest. So therefore, I have my probiotics. So the way that I live, I was able to turn into being able to make an income off of. Well, here is the problem. People typically remember I explained to you entrepreneur versus um, employee. Coming into network marketing means you have to have an entrepreneur mind frame. That's the mind frame that says, how is my business going to be ran? Am I a true product of my product? Like, do I really, really love it? If I really love it, would I tell somebody else? Yes, I would. If I truly love it and I start making income in it, would I tell another person to come in and be on my team and truly train them? See, if you don't think that way coming in, those are the people that come on in and they be like, I did that company and I didn't make any money. 
Well, guess what? If you opened up, and I'm going to use Danny as an example. If you opened up a clothing store and you never put money into it and you never bought any clothes and you're like, oh, I did that business, but it didn't work. And then I go, oh, okay, well, where did you get your items from? And you go, well, I never bought clothes. That doesn't go together. It doesn't make any sense. You have to invest to return. So that's what I'm finding. Like I, I, I am finding that that mind frame is going, I'm looking to be an employee. And in network marketing, it's really you joining and deciding to have your own individual business. And in your own individual business, there is no cap on what you can do. So I'm going to reiterate what I said. If this is something that you're interested in, me, myself, I have people that are all in my inbox and they're like, hey, Trey, I want to join your team. If you've ever told me, hey, Trey, I want to join your team, what have I done to you? We've had a personal conversation where I'm like, why do you want to do that? What, what, what about this aligns with you? And if we find alignment, you're going to join my team because it makes sense. But if it doesn't and you're here just for money, it won't work because you're not personally invested. You're like, I don't, I, I want to make the money, but I don't want to, I don't want to be healthy. That doesn't go together. I'll go maybe like some um, stylists who are like, I love that hair care product. Well, maybe you should look for that for hair care or, oh, I'm a real big shopper. Look for that for something in shopping. But I'm sharing with you, you got to find your love. You got to find your love in your niche. Once you find your love in your niche, then of course, research the company. Research where they are. Make sure that that company, that's like any company. You have companies that are great companies and then you have companies that do not align with you as a person. Look into that. Don't get something that doesn't align with you as that person. Then number three, which is really probably number one. So I can't say these are in order. You have to check that mind frame thing. When you come here, be prepared to work. Be prepared to learn. Be prepared that not every... Hey, people are trained to say no. They walk into the, the, um, the, the clothing store and tell people no about that stuff all day. People, I always tell people a confused brain can't say yes because it doesn't have enough in it to be able to make a good decision for itself. So even when you hear somebody that actually says no in these type of things, it could be maybe I need to explain something a little bit better. You know, so get that entrepreneur mind frame. And those are things that happened over time for me, myself. I'll tell you, I'm somebody who's really big on personal development and I read a lot every day. I study those ahead of myself that has allowed them to be able to me to constantly be able to grow my brand and grow my business. Um, that has been major key to why I know that I've been able to be successful. And I'm in an amazing company right now that has a lot of training and me. I'm, I'm hopefully you can see it. I'm a very passionate educator to everybody that's on my team. So I want them to get their next level. I want them to push on. I want them to change their family life, have additional savings accounts, be able to say, like, I know right now this is my last winter here. It doesn't mean that I'm going to leave, but I want to be able to take my business. My business is right now because this is my lifestyle. My business is right here in this tablet. I can take it with me into another state where it's a bit warmer during that time frame and actually chill <laughs> during the winning winter time and, and really just be able to put myself in a position where I absolutely desire to be. So I'm going to offer myself in, in my parting, I'm going to offer myself the opportunity to have a conversation with you. I, myself, if I've hit your inbox or we've talked and I've said, hey, I just want to share this opportunity with you. I'm not sharing this opportunity with you saying, hey, I want to sell you. Come on in here. But guess what? The company that I chose right now, I have and I'm going to share it with you. In 2012, I started this company. And in that, that time frame that I started the company, somebody didn't educate me doesn't matter who it is didn't fully educate me on what this could have done for me and my family life see I've taken I took a, a position where I, I was in beauty I was traveling around celebrity stylists from state to state to state to state and realized how much freedom I just did not have I wanted to be here for my kids I was not catching these games I was dipping in and on out but man if I would have had it the way that I wanted to I thought that was the way to be able to go I really did and then as I got older and I got wiser and I started thinking, I was like, man, 
Can I see myself at 50 at this? Can I see myself at 60 at this? Can I see myself at 70 at this? Can I see myself at 80? When I started doing that, and that's usually what happens to us as we get older, I was like, no. And then a question was asked of me, if I got hurt, because I've had this. Y'all, I'm in the beauty industry. What happens if something happens to you? Where is your income? You know, just to one of my advisors. And I was like, what do you mean? Do you make money that day? And it's like, no. Okay, so you're just going to bank on the fact that you're going to be okay forever? Like, what kind of odds is that? And I was like, you know what? You're right in that. I've never thought about that. So to now to be able to come into something right here where in my home, it's myself, my husband, and also to my 18-year-old son, where we're all in this business right now. We're all in the business. And regardless if something happens, they can just hit a button on the screen. Totally different life. Totally different setup. No, I'm not going to leave what I've done and what I've built, built as a brick and mortar in a business, but it makes more smarter financial sense. And I can tell you I'm growing my income at a, at a different um, fast pace than I ever thought could be possible. But the reason why was because of what we shared earlier. We all network market. We're either selling or we're being sold. It's one of the two. We're either selling or we're being sold. And I was like, man... I never thought of it in that capacity before. I never thought of it in that way. And then when I changed my thought process yet again, because I already know I'm a very intelligent woman, as I changed my thought process one more time, I got everything that I was asking and I was praying for. So for me offering this on up right now, it's just a conversation, ladies or gentlemen. If you've thought about it before, you're not really sure, and you're like, I just got these questions and I need to figure them out, me, I'm no pressure. After I get off a call, if I know the person still needs to think or whatever, I, my job is to make sure that you have all the details that you need. Did I give you this? Does this make sense? Could you do this? Is your thought process of what you think it is accurate or not? Or maybe do you need to see something additional? That's what I love to do. So I decided to do this video today because as I was talking to a few people over the past week, they was like, oh, no, I don't do that. That's that, that scheme thing. And I'm like, y'all, my check clears every month. It's not a scam. I'm telling you how I live, the things that we normally do. I was even just telling my husband on upstairs, there's something he was using from GNC that he never got paid on. He was being sold. Remember, I told you, you're either going to sell or you're going to be sold. So he was being sold all the time. Like every time he came on in, he was buying the product but never receiving nothing back. Now is able to put that thing right on in here, use it, make a profit from it. And then when somebody asks him about it, all he has to do is say, oh, yeah, this is what I use. And I absolutely love it. And it's great. And he's able to really secure our family future. So. I would love, if you would love to have a, you can inbox me. Sometimes people inbox me and they don't post it on the wall. If you post down below info, I will send you a message and we'll get on a phone call. And again, whatever you want to ask, you are in in 100% right to be able to ask that of me and I will answer it to you. Um, or you can inbox me and say, hey, Trey, I just want the information. And I just want to be able to make an intelligent decision because that's what I was. Oh, and I forgot to tell you this. That thing that I did that somebody didn't teach me, I'm going to post it down below. I'm back in that company now in 2018, six years later. And the girl that's underneath me, that 30 years old, that has made, not that the company has done a million dollars in sales, in her bank account has brought in one million dollars. I came in first. I came in first and I left. And then my sister who's here at six figure who now brought me back in, I left. I didn't have proper information. That's what it was. I was brought on in and I thought I was, um, I hate the word hustle. It gets on my nerves. Um, I wasn't proper. I was out promoting this business, not understanding what it could do over time or not truly understanding the true benefits of network marketing. So imagine, just imagine if I had stayed and I had learned and I had asked more questions 
man, that's one of the reasons why I'm pushing so hard now. And I'm not pushing to sell anybody. I'm, I, I, I went out to the gym today and I saw an amazing, and she's like, oh my God, you look amazing. You look great. Your skin is this. What are you using? And I was able to say, hey, this is what I am. And as a matter of fact, if you were at the gym with me earlier today, I was giving you away my own natural fat burner, which is just the green tea. And they were like, oh my God, this is what you use. This is what I use. And now that's my new life. So that's amazing to me. So again, type info be below or you can inbox me. Or if you're somebody who has my phone number, you're more than welcome to text me too as well. I have a few calls that I need to get through. I'm actually watching my, um, my messages kind of come through right now that I'm going to get to. So thanks so much for tuning on in. I hope this was excellent education for you. And again, I would love to be able to talk to you soon to help you if desired. Talk to you later.